Morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, another beautiful day. <laughs> Absolutely stunning in Vermont. Um, anyway, I wanted to come on, check up on everybody, see how everybody's doing. I'm doing good. Uh, I really, really, really have been just delving in the Word of God and talking to Him. Um, and what I really wanted to come on here and say is that, you know, so many people on YouTube are talking about the rapture. Um, watch it. They're calling themselves watch women, watch men, this, that, and the other thing. And I said before, I don't believe that, you know, someone's going to go to hell because they don't believe in the rapture or they do believe in the rapture. But I wanted to come on here and say how important it is to um, it's important to, 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 to like okay we all know the Lord one day is coming back that's in his word okay so what everybody should be doing is really really sharpening their tools sharpening their walk with Yahushua, you know, um, increasing your faith, and I, I have a lot going on in my personal life, like all of you do, everybody has, um, something, nobody's life is perfect, and the Lord tells us that, you know, he says, in this world you will have many troubles, but behold, I have overcome the world. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Um, and it, 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 you know, the older you get, you see that that's so true. You know, you the things that you planned or you thought you were going to be or where you were going to be in your life didn't necessarily turn out to be so. So... You know, and, 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 and it causes a lot of individuals that don't have the Lord in their life to commit suicide, to be depressed, to be unhappy, to live in sadness. And, you know, you, the last thing anybody wants to do is grieve the Holy Spirit. And so you kind of, we all, God's children have to realize that it's not our plan it's not our plan and you know just give it all to the Lord and I can only speak for myself because that's what I've learned to do now is to give it all to him I don't question him um, you know I'm hurt from a lot of things I'm disappointed from a lot of things and people and family members but my loyalty is first to the Lord, and I have to, and, and I have so, thank God I was born with um, faith, lest nobody can boast, and it's, and my, what I'm trying to say is I want my faith to be even stronger, I want my walk with him to you know, I want to, I want to, I want to walk the tightrope with him you know, and, and that's an analogy I'm saying as far as um, being on the narrow path. That's how narrow I want my walk to be, that I'm on the tightrope with him and balancing because he's everything. He's everything. And I know there's so many of you out there that are struggling you're struggling every single day, and all I could say to you is I'm a witness. You have your set of problems. I have my set of problems, but when you learn to just give it all to, to the Lord, He's there. He's with you. He's real. Brothers and sisters, I feel Him holding me. I know that He gets me through every single day. Some days are tougher than others, but the days that are tougher are the days that I try to do things on my own. And that's, that's what we, we can't do. We can't do. We really, 
you know, I, I've used this analogy before, but we are just puppets on a string for either the evil side or the good side. And I'm a puppet on a string for Yahushua. And whatever he wants me to do, wherever he wants me to go, when I wake up in the morning, I thank him for my blessings. I, I, I thank him for loving me. And I say, Lord, God's will be done. And I put a lot of posts up on um, my community page from Ezekiel. And it, it's proof that the OSIS community is teaching a false gospel. And I wanted to say that, you know, some people, you know, they, they're, they make comments uh, or they'll email me and they'll say, you know, that's not good to hate and to judge. Well, first of all, I don't hate I don't hate. I don't. I don't. I don't hate anybody. Um, but I, and I'm not judging anybody. I'm just calling out a false doctrine, okay? Because that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Like I said, if you're married, okay, and you, let's say your uh, your fiance, your your a woman or a man comes to you and says to you, okay, so we're going to get married and, um, you know, you know I love you, but don't worry about it if once in a while, you know, I fall off and I end up in bed with somebody else or, you know, go out drinking with somebody else or, you know, fantasize about other people or watch pornography or you, you're getting the point here. I mean that, and, and that's what OSIS really is saying, how your walk with and your relationship with Yahushua should be. And that's, ridiculous that's that's blasphemy that's mocking God and God will not be mocked God has in his word over and over and over and over and over says how he hates sin and if you even let sin creep in your life even a little bit you are letting Satan come in your life a lot because he, he's the one tricking these people with this false doctrine, okay? You, we have to have, go into this relationship with our husbands and our wives if you're married. And, or if you're alone like me and I, and I go into this relationship with, with, with him, that, that I am not going to let sin in at all. I can't. I can't take that chance because the minute that I let it in, back in, because we all have a past, okay? I see Chelsea Bedell. She's out there writing, you know, people are bringing up her past. Well, Chelsea, you know, your past, we all have a past, and it's coming back to haunt you because, you know, you're allowing it still to be on social media, Get rid of it. You know, instead of fighting your brothers and sisters in Christ, go get a lawyer with all your money, with the extra money that you got from your um, uh, subscribers. Get an attorney and make them take down those videos of you because you have an obligation. I have an obligation. When I'm up here talking, I have, I have an obligation to speak for the Father. And all I'm telling people, I'm not showing hate. I'm telling everybody out there to love the love God and His Son, Jesus Christ, with all your heart, all your soul, and to repent 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 and you're telling people osis out there don't repent and tim henderson says don't even follow jesus and barry scarborough he's he's using he's using this platform to worry about the stock market that's all he talks about okay money 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 cha ching cha ching cha ching Again, my channel's monetized. I'm not a minister. I'm not a pastor. Okay? Do you go to work every day? Do you get paid? This is my job. 
and the Lord blessed me with it. And nobody's going to make me feel like I'm doing wrong. If the Lord convicted me, that's a different story. I don't put my PayPal up anymore. I don't put a Patreon account up anymore. No, this is enough. I, the Lord gives me exactly what I need, no, 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 no more. And I don't want any more because that's where trouble starts. Trouble in your life starts when you, ha when you have more money than, than, than you need. You turn, you want more, and you want more, and you want more. And Ecclesiastes tells us that, you know, you're, you're uh, toiling under the sun and chasing after the wind. And that's what you're doing. M minimalize your life. Love Jesus with all your heart and soul. Love thy neighbor as you love yourself. And some may say, but Lisa, how could you say that when you're always on here talking about Barry Scarborough, Tim Henderson, and Chelsea Bedell? Well, unfortunately, they're not my neighbors. Or fortunately, they're not my brothers and sisters because they're teaching a false doctrine. They are spitting in God's face. They are telling innocent people not to repent. That no matter what you do, no matter what you do, like Chelsea. So she was saved at 10, and now she could do porn videos. Tim Henderson, you know, he's, he, he, he makes up his own doctrine, the ABCs of salvation. That's not in the Word of God, never was, never will be, because it's not that simple. It's not just ABCs of salvation. You have to walk the walk, talk the talk, and obey Father. You have to obey Him and love Him with all your heart and soul. And you have to stay far, far away from sin, no matter what it is. No matter what it is. If it's bad people in your life, if it's um, you know, that, that bring you, want to bring you to bars or want to bring you, the anger out in you, stay away from them. Look, nobody's life is perfect, but you will find perfection when you love the Lord with all your heart and all your soul and you just depend on Him. Then everything else falls into place. It might not be the way that you planned. My life isn't the way that I planned it. But I wish I knew what I knew now, and I had this relationship with the Lord 25 years ago. I do. So what I'm trying to say, brothers and sisters out there, and, you know, even the non-believers and all my subscribers, is don't be sad. If I came on here and I said to you, you know, I'm, I'm 89 years old. And you guys said, you liar, you're not 89 years old. And I said, yeah, I am, I'm 89 years old. And, you, and then they, you, you asked me, well, what, did, what do you do that you, you don't look 89? You would run to wherever I said to buy whatever I said to buy. And I'm telling you, okay, that Jesus Christ saved my life. He saved me from me. He saved me from people that hurt me. He saved me from a lot of things that I've been through in my life. All right? Many of you know that my ex-husband, the Mr. Navy man, um, Anthony Johnson, he, he hit me between the eyes with a baseball bat. But that, but the Lord, Yahushua, that, he did me a favor. He knocked sense into me because that man was a, 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 a borderline um, pedophilia. I found the tapes. I found them. Okay? It's bad. It was bad. It was emotional abuse. Poisoning me. Abusing me. And I told nobody. But now I'm telling everything because the only person, the only way that I got through is with the Lord Jesus Christ. So you out there could get through anything with the Lord Jesus Christ. Anything. Your life can change in a moment. In a moment. 
And I, I promise you, because I, I was just going to say swear, and we're not supposed to swear um, on anything, and we're supposed to take each other's yes for yes and no for no and leave it up to, to the Lord you, to, to use your discernment. But I promise you that if you give your life to him fully and you repent and you walk that narrow road, you walk that tightrope, Everything falls into place and you will have peace. The kind of peace and happiness that can never be bought. And with that, I'm going to leave you all and tell you again that I love you all. Welcome to my new subscribers. Please, um, I think somewhere down here is the subscribe button. <laughs> and um, just uh, like and share. Uh, spread the word because what I want to do is spread God's word that's my mission I'm so happy to do it I found my way through God Almighty and his son Jesus Christ and um, we are in the end times but you know these people that are constantly rapture 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 you know what are you that weak just go through tribulation be a warrior. Be, be, be in God's army because he says, those who endure till the end shall be saved. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I love you all and God bless you all. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for supporting me. And I'm here to support you. I love you all. Mwah. God bless and God willing. <laughs> this little Italian girl will be back. And what are we? Who are we? Team Jesus. Hallelujah. Mwah. Ciao.